Welcome to Telemundo. Hi. Bienvenidos a Telemundo. Eh, can you please tell me about your character? ¿Me pueden hablar de sus personajes, por favor? I mean, I know you're the director, but can you please tell me why you're doing that? I play Sofia. Um, she is pretty much in the same business that John Wick is in. Mm -hmm. Um, when we find her, she's living in Morocco. She's sort of running um, the, ho the hotel in Morocco. And she meets John, and you quickly find out that they have some history there. And John needs her to do something very important. And, of course, there's a coin that's exchanged, and Sophia has to go and do it. This is chapter three. Um, how hard was it to make it more interested and more attractive to the audience after seeing the first two parts. ¿Qué tan difícil fue atraer a la audiencia después de haber hecho dos partes en esta tercera parte? Um, it's challenging. It's always challenging to try and stay with the core of what everybody loves and resonates with in the audience and then try to expand it out to something new and fresh. So it's always a bit of a challenge, but it's also the funnest part of the job. A lot of it you do with action design, you do with cast, you do with how to mix and, and, and match all the different parts of the world. And I think uh, by doing that, by expanding our cast, by expanding our expectations, we get a little bit more uh, uh, originality to us. Before uh, being part of this film, you were a fan of um, the movie. Um, what does it mean to you being part of this film and working with Keanu Reeves? I, I was a huge fan, so to now be a part of it, mm -hmm. you know, is, is, it's a big highlight of my, my, I would have to say, my 25-year career, that's for sure. I think this, no, no laugh at me. No, you're being nice. I'm all embarrassed now. But it's true. I think these movies have, you know, redefined what an action movie is. And so to be a part of that is no small. And I've been a part of some pretty amazing ones like James Bond and I've done some things, but X-Men. But this for me is really special because it's so real. And I had to work harder than I've ever had to work before just to hold my own in this movie. So I'm very proud of it. Talking about action and about being real, um, <clears throat> are you the kind of actors that like to do your own action scenes or use stunts for this kind of movie? Oh, no. Yeah, hold on. No, yeah. No, it's hard to get her to sit down. I'll answer that one. It's uh, it's very difficult to get her to not participate There's or to take a rest. There's one thing I didn't do in this movie and I was so mad. Which was? I was like, come on, Shad, let me do it. Come on, let me do it. Sometimes we have to draw the line, but for... When we say action, there's like particular stunts. Stunts are things that we don't want the actors do, but as far as action goes, the, the level of action, what for one actor may be a stunt is for another actor action. So the idea is to take the training up so high that they can do 99.9% .9 of stuff. And I think that's what we achieve on the John Wick films. Yeah. Supposedly there's a part four. Will you be in the next part? For sure. She will definitely be. I just <laughs> want to make sure she'll let me be part of it, and then that will be great. I'm great. only doing it if he does it. <laughs> great. Thank you for your time. Thank of course. You. Thank you. Thank you. Can you please tell me how do you feel coming back with this film after four years back with John Wick? Um, hello. Hi. Thanks uh, for being here and having me on Thank the show. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm really excited. It was really great to put the suit on again and to play John Wick. And I think we have a really exciting story. We open up the world. And I think uh, I was really looking forward to the new kinds of action that we do. Um, it's John Wick action, but it's now in different, you know, there's motorcycles now, there's a horse, there's the dogs are doing different things. So, um, yeah, it was really exciting to have the opportunity to tell the story. Talking about, about action, um, how do you prepare for this character? There was a lot of action scenes with you. Do you do all your scenes or you like, like to have a stunt do it for you? Yeah, yeah, I like to do mm -hmm. as much of the action as I can. I don't do stunts. I mean, I think everything that John Wick does in the film, I do maybe 92%. But, uh, you know, when... When John Wick gets hit by a car, I, I don't do that. That's Jackson Spidell, who's uh, an amazing stuntman. In every franchise, um, the audience always wants to see something better and better. How hard was it for you as an actor to make this third edition of John Wick even better than the ones before? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's better, but I know that we tried. You know, it's, it's, mm. it's, it's not only just being better, it's like, I think because I have the experience of John Wick and John Wick Chapter 2, I'm better at the judo because I've been training more, the jujitsu, the gun work, the gun manipulation. Um, and so th from an action standpoint, I just have more, I'm better at it. Um, and so that's, that gives the director more opportunities to do different things. Halle 